Welcome, everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for January 9th, 2019. Happy New Year. It's a new year, a new opportunity. And Coach Jay is joining us. Were we able to make money in the stock option market today? Scott, definitely. There's uh, still opportunities, uh, even on this day that you're seeing here. There's opportunities to make, uh, you know, make some good moves and um, get some good results. And really, that's the kind of beauty of the software. Even on this day that you're seeing here, there's opportunities to make, you know, make some good moves and get some good results. And really, that's the kind of beauty of the software is it, it really does find those moments, even among uh, a longer trend of, you know, kind of just okay and it really highlights at the time when stuff is moving and would you be able to believe that i could say uh 60 in uh, the first half hour of the stock market opening i would be absolutely amazed at that uh, but right. what i hear you saying is when the market is trending in a, an upward direction or a downward direction, it's, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. It's very easy. I know when the market goes sideways, which is, as you can see, this is kind of what this market is like today. It's normally like terrible and really, really difficult. And so uh, for most people who don't have the training and don't have the tools like we do, and what you're telling me is in a choppy day with no clear direction, we're able to have some pretty spectacular wins. We are, and we're able to identify those and, and kind of, like you said, seize the moment. Yes, carp DM. <laughs> That's right. And so you can see here today, there's a, there's a little bit of an uptrend and a downtrend in the day, but overall, I mean, you could draw a straight line and almost hit every single candle for the most part. So yeah. it's... Uh, just shaping the kind of expectations for people, you know, normal range, very low volume day, choppy day. Most trades lack follow through. I mean, there's a lot of indicators on here saying, eh, you know, I may or may not find anything today. So kind of uh, cautiously trading risky times, as it says here. But let's go ahead and jump in if you're ready and take a yes. look at Baba. <clears throat> let's get back. Get back here to the beginning, the morning. And one of the things that I want to highlight on this one is the importance of time scales. So let's go ahead and take a look at this trade. And we'll start out in two minute time scale. Our system allows us to uh, adjust time scales, and that changes perspective and, and what we see. And we might be able to see a better trend or at least the have a better view of the, the candles. So here we are at 9.33, and we're just going to move forward and watch this develop. So here we are at 9.34, and we've got a little background, and it's looking, looking pretty good. Let's go forward one candle. Or let's, let's take a look here. And so this looks pretty good. You kind of don't know what's going on with this discrepancy in volume here. So it kind of leaves, uh, leaves you kind of wanting to, to watch it a little bit more. I'll go ahead and bring this in. And I'm gonna switch to one minute candles. So you saw this on the two minute candle. Going forward here, and it, it it jumps through the the risk there, and looks like it's probably going to take off. But we are on two minute candles, so we're kind of missing some of the picture. Switching to one minute candles, look at that. Wow, that looks like a lot more of a trend than the previous one. It does so on the two minute candle, this this volume. 
doesn't look as as significant. I mean, it's significant because it's there, and we've got a breakthrough. So all that, you know, it looks good. But when we switch our our lens to one minute, now you can really see the buildup. You can yeah. see the volume spike, and you've got the K band on. So that is a clear indicator because I was on the right time scale, and that's where coaching comes in. Coaching really helps you kind of fine tune this. The simplicity in this program is amazing but it also allows you to be specific and fine tune exactly what you're looking at. So let's go ahead and get in here. And let's move forward and see what it does. And look at that. We are at 17% in a uh, four minute trade. And with this, you see another volume. We're starting to see the background kind of lighten up a little bit. And for me, this is time to get out. Yeah, pretty clear. Yeah, so let's go ahead and close that out. At 17%, first, first, part, of the, first part of the market, easy day. Now let's take a look at this at two minute candles and see if it's as obvious as this. It actually makes it look like with this bat, with the K band coming on, that this is really kind of the start of it gaining power. You know, it's a, it's a steam engine, you know, working its way from white to green to blue on green. When in reality, this is actually a good chance that it is the end of the trend. Two different stories based on two different timelines, and it's only a minute apart. Yeah, correct. It's it's uh, it's crazy how this really highlights those opportunities. And uh, we'll move forward just to see if there's anything else to be made here. And it is not. It's pretty clear trend. This is actually the setup and kind of how it moves through once you're in the trade is uh, you know something I like to see all over this type of trade here. Cool. Do we have another uh, stock we want to take a look at? We do. We have Tilray. Tilray has just been unbelievable. And I know, I think yesterday's trade review with Rob, I'm sure he was uh, hitting Tilray as well. He did. Because twenty three percent on uh, in a, I don't I can't recall how long it was I think it was nine minutes, and uh, so obviously Tilray is done. You're not going to be able to make money the next day with the same, uh, <laughs> correct? <laughs> yeah, it's like just throwing more chum in the water for traders. You know they, they catch a whiff of that and they all start coming. There's a good chance that it's going to continue, and I'll show you a, a couple trades here. So we ended this trade at nine thirty eight. Let's go forward. Let's go and switch over to Tilray so we can see it develop a little bit. But here we are at 9.38, and let's see what Tilray has for us. Two minutes later, Tilray has an opportunity. We're getting through some resistance. And you've got the K band going on, we've got a trend line. So things are looking pretty good and the market's strong. So let's go ahead and buy a call and move forward, see where this takes us. Look at that 21% in one minute. Holy smokes. Yeah, now this candle is tall. It's moved a, a big distance. So you can you can have a thought process one of two ways. One, hey, I'm up 21%. Why not just stay in? You know, if I take a 10% loss, I'm still up 10%. Or you could say, you know, that's 21%. Uh, I'm going to expect some market flutter, but then it's going to go up. Or as I've always 
you know, everybody's always heard me say, go with the known. Well, the known right now is that I got 21%. <laughs> so, yeah. Regardless of the outcome, and we've gone through, we've moved a lot of distance in that one candle. So I'm expecting, knowing the volatility of Tilray for the day and previous days, I'm going to take that money and run, Scott. I'm not going to wait for a 21% turnaround. So we're going to go ahead and close that out. Yeah, because oftentimes when you see a big candle, the next candle is a big candle in the opposite direction. Not always, but often. Yeah, often you will see that. And you've seen these, look at these big, fat, red candles. And then there's, it goes a long ways, but it's a narrower candle. Even though, and we've been on a general uptrend for, you know, quite a few candles and it's moved through a lot of territory. And when you see something moving through a lot of territory, you want to be hesitant about how long you're going to stay in that trend, in that trade. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and close that one out. And so that was two minutes after the Baba trade. So now we're total market time of 11 minutes and we had a 17% trade and a 21% trade. Beautiful. And let's see here. Tilray, we are not done with you yet. It's going to, I think, take a little bit of a breather. There you are. There's a big and we're gonna we're gonna just sit back and and pick you up on the next go around. So I'm just clicking through here so people see how it kind of develops. And let's see here. Here we are. So we've got an opportunity here. And let's see, there she goes. So you see it kind of goes up and I was talking about how narrow this candle was compared to the strength of these candles. And there, there are several things that can cause can cause that to be, so you can't hang your hat on one thing, but it does make me a little, I don't want to say hesitant, but a little bit, where hey, are the bear, bears a little bit stronger today than the bulls? I mean, the bulls are winning out on this trend, but, you know, these big fat candles going red make me a little nervous about a long uptrend uh, in the call scenario. And it takes does take a little bit of a break, does another big breakthrough and then takes a break. And you can see it goes above the seven day break above and works its way through some, some resistance here. So it broke, it broke through its top, right? It did. You can see there's, there's really nothing over here and you broke the previous high. It's a seven day break above. I mean, life is, life is pretty good in the Tilray crowd at the moment. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I forgot to hit the call button here. I got excited about this trade. Let's see here. So here it is, bumped along. It's kind of channeling a little bit. It's kind of sticking in this channel and decides to make its move out. And up we go. So Tilray, you can see, goes up through here and then it pauses. And if you, you know, if we were to do the slow play, it down, dances around here and it ends up with this Einstein fractal and a Y point. So at that point would be our, our get out point. Let me back up, get the close here. So here we are, 10%, and we'll go ahead and close that out for time's sake, so we're not watching watching it bounce around on that, that last red candle. Let's see here for the day.
Just a second. Here we go. Sometimes likes to hide on you. There you go. On that, on a day where, you know, it was looking sideways and didn't have uh, anything too great to speak about there on the basket, you still have an opportunity for 56, 57 percent, or whatever that is. So, yeah, yeah, pretty nice results on a pretty poor day. And one of the things I was thinking about, Coach Day, as you were talking, is one of the advantages of the membership in the Day Trader Genius group is you start to find you find out what uh, what the hot stocks are to watch. And a year, well, a year ago, this is January ninth. So last year in December and November, I don't think we were talking too much about this particular stock. So it's one that's kind of come on. And and this is one of the things that I've noticed over the years is there was a time when all we talked about was Goldman Sachs, <laughs> Goldman Sachs, Goldman Sachs, right? And now we're talking about uh, this particular stock and it changes. And it's really, it's really difficult if you're on your own and you you don't have good tools, you don't have good coaching, and you're not part of a good group to to all of a sudden switch. I mean, I would still be watching Goldman Sachs doing probably very little and losing out on some pretty big gains because if I wasn't in this group. So I think that's one of the real beauties of being part of part of our membership. Yeah, you know, being a being a part of the membership really gets you the human component as well as the technological component so Mm -hmm. you're right Tilray wasn't really on the radar you know you see it pop up here and there but nah and lately it's just been going crazy and the system goes and finds that for you and then when these new stocks come out new as in you know meeting the technical side of getting on the program then we, you can have the human interaction of, hey, what, what's going on there and, and why do we like it or why does it fit our rules or you know, how, how can we develop a strategy for this stock and then really capitalize on that because that's kind of the X factor. I mean, the machines do a great job and the program is second to none. It's absolutely amazing. But the human component and the, the critical kind of thinking, strategizing aspect of it is what you know, really make it, makes it, uh, really highlights some really good opportunities for you. Awesome. Well, thank you, Coach Jay. Appreciate you sharing this with us. And this has been the Day Trading Trader Genius Daily Review for January 9th, 2019. We had three trades, 16.8%, 20.9%, 10.3%. And uh, they were all kind of like three minutes, one minute, and one minute. So pretty quick. Uh, now it's time to go sit on the beach somewhere. Yeah, enjoy life. Day's done, you know, almost that's 50% right. today. And Can't spend that with your family and do other stuff that's meaningful. You know, make your money work for you so you can gain more time. Exactly. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.